Hi guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and we are here under the Silver Run Forest map. Uh, this is the Platinum DLC and uh, we are gonna start off with the Iron Ore Plant. Um, you're gonna have to place something as well. You're gonna have to place a placeable uh, production plant which is gonna be our smelting furnace. I'm gonna show you guys where the smelting furnace is because there is no smelting furnace on the map. You're gonna have to place it yourself. So you come in here under productions and this here is your platinum here smelting furnace. You put your iron ore in here and out comes metal rings. You need met metal for almost anything. For the roller coaster, you definitely need the metal as well. So I have placed that on the map already. If you come up here, here it is. We're gonna visit it. And here is my smelting furnace. What I did was I bought this here grass field. We come in the land. I bought it here for 50 grand. So I could place my smelting furnace right here. All right, so what we need is we need a truck and a trailer and we need, um, we're gonna buy, which truck are we gonna buy? We're gonna buy the Volvo here. With the biggest horsepower, 750. We're gonna buy, we're gonna buy we're going to buy the 6x4. With the lights on the front. Yeah. The mirrors here, we're going to change some colors on the truck. We're going to buy a red one. The sun color probably also red. Look at that. And we're gonna buy it. We need a truck and a trailer. The biggest trailer in the game here is the Cramper trailer, three in one. It's this one way back here. It's an in-game trailer. Now I'm not using any mods or anything like that. I'm using the platinum expansion stuff and the in-game stuff as well. I'm going to stick with the color red for this trailer. We need a wheel loader. I'm going to buy the Volvo. And this is going to be part one of our Let's Play tutorial. Design two here. Yes and yes here. The wheel loader. We need the biggest uh, wheel loader shovel in the game, which comes from our platinum expansion here. It's this bucket, it's this one here with the 10,000 liters. All right, we're gonna hop over to the shop. And we are gonna drive up our equipment. Because we definitely need it up there. I'm going to show you guys how the smelting and the iron ore will work. Alright. I'm going to open up the map there. So once we have reached our iron ore mine iron ore mine is up there okay the train has just gone by we're gonna have to drive through the woods to be able to get this we're way up way up in the forest area it's gonna be a long ride up there for sure now you, you can't buy 
the iron ore mine because the iron ore mine is uh, producing iron ore non stop for free. That's why you can't buy it. We are gonna take a slight shortcut here in a, in a minute. We're not gonna follow this paved road right up to the mine. We're gonna take a logging a logging road. I hope. We're gonna turn off in here. We're gonna drive through the woods. There's a trailer there of some sort. What trailer do we have there? Ah, okay. We can uh, use that trailer to collect the the wheel loader. All right, that is awesome. We're gonna follow the road up, right up to the iron ore mine. We're gonna unhook this trailer, use that trailer that we just saw. And we're gonna put the wheel loader on it bring up our equipment all right we're gonna take these two out of the way here because that equipment is Far too small. You'll be loading ages well. We're gonna sit it here for now. We're gonna take that one out of the way. We're gonna park our truck and trailer where this guy is sitting. And we are gonna load up. We're gonna up the Time a little bit by five. Our trailer, we are going to park right here. We're going to bring up the wheel order as well. Drive back to the old shop. We're gonna collect our wheel loader. We're gonna load up. I hope we're going in the right direction. Are we? Where are we, by the way? We're not going in the right direction. We have to turn around here. Oh, come on.
course, when you're working on this map, you gotta have your your mini map open. I know at times for a little while until you get to know the routes that you have to take. Otherwise, if you don't open the mini the mini map, then uh, you're gonna lose. Um, you're going to lose concentration and you don't know where to go or where you have to go for sure. You gotta keep the mini map open when you're playing on a on a map for the first time. Alright, no one coming. This truck can go 90 miles an hour, or 90 kilometers per hour. We have here 750 horsepower, guys. Yeah, it's a uh, straight ahead. Alright, here we are, back at the shop here. Let's get that wheel loader loaded up. I wonder if we can uh, widen the ramps a little bit. Yes, we can. Look at that. And widen and narrow the ramps. So we're gonna put those in. We're gonna put the, the straps on, like that, and we're off. Up to the mine site, the iron ore mine site. We're gonna do some iron ore mining because we we need the metal for the roller coaster. We we need a lot of stuff for the roller coaster. We need kegs. We need furniture. Furniture. We need metal. We need some kegs. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to almost uh, feed every production plant on this map to be able to get the roller coaster up and running the I mean the construction part of it
Yeah, we can uh, make it up here. Plenty, plenty of horsepower here. 750. Yeah, no problem here. We're going to take a slight uh, shortcut as well. We're going to go through the woods here. It's shorter than having to go um, on the paved road. Way shorter here. Yeah, this is a part of the roller coaster too. <coughs> right up to the iron ore mine, yeah. Unload our wheel loader here. We need the truck. I don't know if I showed you guys that at the start here. I have placed an iron ore smelting furnace where you will find that is. You will find that under shop, so we're gonna visit it first. I have put it here on field 41, I think it is. That is your smelter. You smelt um, your iron ore and you get metal. Come into your shop here, come down here, build, go into production, scroll back a little bit, and here it is. Here's your iron ore smelter you put iron ore in and you get metal out you need metal for the roller coaster is what you need the metal for um i will show you guys that as well we're gonna come back over here to the shop the roller coaster is just over here Here they say uh, to be able to finish off the build of the roller coaster you need here metal, finished walls, um, you need wooden uh, floor, a wooden floor, or wooden floor tiles, you need boards, you need beams, chairs, cakes, buckets, long boards and shingles and you also need uh, tables and a staircase. And then you can uh, finish off building the roller coaster, yeah. And then you can probably take a ride in it as well. Alright, so we're gonna jump back into our uh, wheel loader here. We're gonna load up the truck. We're gonna load up 
the iron ore here. Now this uh, iron ore plant, you can't buy it. Um, this iron ore plant will produce iron ore constantly for free. So there's no way, no way to buy it. Like I said, the iron ore is free, and it will keep on producing iron ore. Will uh, produce iron ore here non-stop. It's it's for free practically. Iron ore is here for free up at the uh, iron ore mine. I, I would like to get up there and uh, see if I can get into that building. Let's see if, if we can uh, get in. Gonna scram up here. Yeah, there's a there's a way up. Let's see if we can uh, get in. Look at that nice view from up here. Right down on the roller coaster there. We're gonna see if we, we can get into the building here. Yes, we can. Wow, look at that. Look at down there. Look at the view, guys, from up here. Wow, that is brilliant. That is awesome, guys. Wow. Look at the view over there. <laughs> the river. Here we have the trees, the forestry area. Look at that. And then there we have our, yeah, our iron ore mine. Look at that. <laughs> All right, that looks awesome. And we have here parts of the roller coaster as well. All right. So we are gonna go back down. What is this? I wonder can we collect him? Uh, no, we, oh, can we? Yes, we can collect him. Um, this is here the Örtliche Museum plant, an Ausstellung von. Yeah, they're talking about the uh, the museum that is downtown. They're saying something about it. Let's just press OK here. I think, I don't know if we got any money for that. Usually you get maybe 10 grand for each of those that you collect. I think in FarmSim 19 you had to collect um, collectibles and for each collectible you have gotten 10 grand for each one which are on the map. So we are gonna continue on loading this year or we're gonna it's very heavy. Look, look how the um, how the wheel loader is reacting to the iron ore. It's, uh, it wants to tilt forward. Now I still don't don't know what this guy here is for. This one here, I have no idea. My guess is if you can put stones in here, that's a, that's some sort of a some sort of a stone crusher. I think it is. I, I don't think that one has anything to do with this here iron ore plant. I think that is just a, a single stone crusher. Not sure about that one. Let's see if we see anything on the on the map here that would tell us what that is. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. That is a cell point, a cell point here for rocks or stones. 
Then there's a cell point. That thing here. You fill up your trailer with rocks or stones. And you can sell stones here. That is a cell point for stones. That has nothing to do with the iron ore plant. Yeah, I'm curious how much iron ore this, this smelter is going to take. See if we can get all of it. And we managed to get all of our iron ore right into the trailer here. So let's uh, power this guy in here. Let's see if there's any better place where we can uh, power this uh, low loader. We've got 48,000 iron ore in the, in the trailer here. And you can see um, the iron ore is filling the ground back up so we can uh, grab some iron ore again if we need it. That's why the iron ore plant is producing the iron ore here for free and you can't, you cannot buy the iron ore plant just because it's producing the iron ore here for free. Uh, put it here. So let's bring this here iron ore down to the smelter. And look at the the hoses here. Brilliant. I like how that is done. Um, I think we can We're gonna take the route that we came which is this way here And that is how you mine the iron ore on the Silver Run Forest map. Um, where do we have to go? We have to keep going straight, I believe. Yeah, right along the river.
We need to head over to field 41. That is where our iron ore uh, smelting furnace is. I will pop up the, the minimap once in a while. That is probably another cell point, I believe. Yes, it is another cell point. We can place something on top of that little mountain there. I think I should have placed the um, the smelter on top of that hill. And we are almost back in town. Nice little river here, you got, you got the pond on that side. And the river flowing right into the pond area. I just love this map. This map is awesome. Open up the map here. We're gonna drive right in here. Because that is where I have placed our smelting furnace. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna dump it. Look at the iron ore going right up the conveyor belt there, guys. Look at that. Going right up the conveyor belt, the iron ore. Oh. So we're gonna come in here. I think it can take 55,000 liters here of iron ore. We have 48,000. I think that bit here is 7,000 more. So we, I'm guessing 55,000 liters of iron ore uh, this uh, plant can take. We can uh, have a look how much it, it will take but i'm not sure if it would tell us um no it's it's not telling me how much i can put of iron ore into this plant it's not not telling me all right have a look at this plant again Forty-eight thousand. That is what the iron ore plant looks like when you when you want to place it. Over here, press the ore button, and you can uh, go into your iron ore plant and have a look how it's doing. All right, and over here you get the metal. We're gonna fast forward the time a little bit until we get our first uh, metal. A pallet of metal here. Mm. Because it takes a while until they have produced the metal. It takes a while. And you have to activate it too. Come up here to deactivate or activate. I have activated it. It takes here 24 cycles per month. The production costs here are 120 euro. And here you can see we are producing already. Yeah. I wonder how many liters one pallet of metal is. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on it. 916 liters we have now. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the time here. 
right down to one. That was 916 liters, I believe. So far, one um, pallet of metal here. 916 liters. That is how much the pallet is. 916 liters of metal on that pallet. So take away 900 away from here. 916, I believe, you are going to end up with 48,000. Now we are left with 47,000 because we have here 916 liters of metal on the pallet. So that is how that works, guys. And you can use the, the metal pallet here for the roller coaster build, which is, uh, which is over there by the shop here. Way over there. You can use that for the roller coaster build. If you come up here into into your um, help menu, you have here metal. Here, you use your, the metal here to build your roller coaster and other stuff as well. So, this concludes this part one Let's Play tutorial on how the um, iron ore plant works. I'll be filling this uh, right up to the brim with metal. I have no idea how much metal the roller coaster needs but we are going to be back when we are going to be taking a look at another production so thanks for watching guys and uh, we will see you in part 2 where we are going to be looking at another production so um, leave a comment, leave a like, watch the videos subscribe to my channel that's uh, important as well and I'd love to hear your comments on the Platinum expansion for Farm Sim 22. And that is our metal palette. So bye bye and we'll see you in another video. Bye.